Hey guys, welcome to our new episode. Today we're taking a look at Ancient Kingdom. This is a game that has gameplay available for us to play and test out and show you exactly what you can expect from it. It's the first martial arts game on the blockchain. Um, we're going to be looking at everything from when it's IDO is coming, what launch pad it's going to be on, what you can expect in terms of NFTs in the future, the play to earn aspects. We'll take a look at the game in depth, actually have a little playthrough on mobile because we have the APK to play with now. And I think this is going to give you a real good insight into whether this is a game you want to invest in, whether it's something you want to play. I'm always excited to see actually gameplay that I can show you guys and it just gives you more of an insight into the vision of the game exactly what you can expect in terms of the playability of it so uh, they reached out to me and I just thought yeah this is a really good opportunity to cover a game that is is progressing very very nicely and presents quite a nice opportunity because it's, it's not it's not often that you get some test gameplay before the IDO so it's a nice opportunity yeah so this video is sponsored therefore we are doing watch to earn on it so if you want to have a chance to win of one of five sixty dollars lot of usdt uh, make sure to do the usual go to the comment section post anything you want go to discord go to the competition wallet section and post your youtube name and wallet address to be entered and in three days time we'll do the draw for those usdt's usdt but them usdt's so let's get into it first ancient martial arts game on the blockchain to expand the terrific system ancient kingdom empowers players to skip a profound maps Manned power to train and find the pinnacle of fame and resources. When found, rich cases that are marked can be mined, refined, exchanged through the organization of business mining establishments, processing plants, and universal. So much to do in there, really, isn't there? Um, characters in games, you're going to have different warriors that have different abilities. Some favor com close combat, some favor you know ranged combat. So we've got a number of different. Um, characters that you can play with and they're they're all gonna have pretty unique looks aren't they that you can pick some i mean if i was gonna go for yeah, that's a good sword you can always tell a good good project by the artwork i think that's a really good insight whether the detail is is put into it and you can see here that there is a whole host of great artwork and effects on some of these things that yeah clearly they know what they're doing um, we can expect from the Ancient Kingdom in terms of earning, farming, staking, the token which is DOM, trading and play to earn within the game. There'll be DOM, gold and king, so triple tokenomics. There's going to be multiple tokens to earn in the game, DOM, gold and king, and they've got a very good system for understanding how that's all going to work if you want to take a specific look at it. The tokenomics are as follows. You can see it is going to be on the Binance Smart Chain, which is always good. 2 billion token supply. The token will be launching on three respects respectable launch pads so we've got engine starter infinity launch pad and ant launch so check out those if you want to you know get ready for being able to invest in this you might have to hold some tokens within them or check out their whitelist follow their socials they might have some offers there available slots to be able to get in on this it's going to be on the january the 11th uh 2022 so not long to go until this comes out only nine days if you pick this up a public sale you're going to be paying one cent just a bit over there'll be 20 percent distributed at token generation event which is a very generous amount clip in the next two months then release 20 percent after two months so this will take up 0.5 of the supply a big supply went to fifth private sale 15 they bought at one cent with a 12 percent cliff there was a seed round where you know it went for a lot cheaper about half price of what public sale is and we can see the team has 7.5 percent but they're locked for 12 months so they're in it for the long haul the core team is made up of a CEO, CTO, CMO, product design lead, senior game developer, and across them, the experience that they have, you can check out, um, builds quite a good team, an experienced team that will be able to handle a project this size. The roadmap is as follows. We're now in Q1 2022, where there will be in future CEX DEX listings, we'll run the marketing program, open the NFT marketplace and release farming, release official game version, the app version Android will be, and on test flight will be available for you to play. So you're not waiting long for this project. Q2 will expand partnerships, run marketing projects, programs, it upgrade the game, characters, equipment, features. Q3 will see mobile game available on both Android and iOS operating systems, ranking tournament with many prizes, staking DOM and, earn, and gold to earn other tokens and implementing buyback and burn features. And then Q4, we're gonna see strategic cooperation and product development, major exchange listing, fighting upgrade PVE, reduce gas fees and integrate new functions, upgrade API update, more maps and mobile game. Siege War Sex Battle. So plenty planned 
over the next year and we're going to see a lot of it in the coming months so you're not going to be waiting long for it the fact that we have a playable game which we're going to look at now is a good sign you know that it's, things are going to progress fairly quickly one of their big backers is dowmaker huge platform dowmaker incubates and launches projects by dow over 200,000 followers that makes a very rapid platform so it's a good strong strategic partnership and also potentially a good sign that this is a project worth investing in and among others we see a lot of things that you may know you may have heard of some of these investors mexc global is a very big exchange so you know there's got some good backers behind it and they've seen potential in it already so let's take a look at the gameplay because i think that's going to be the best feature of today's video looking at exactly what we can expect it's going to be the best insight into what they are going to deliver for their project to see whether it's worth your investment okay so sadly it's not working on my phone so i'm gonna to have to show you some pre-recorded footage so this is what you can expect the interface to look like very very complex in terms of you know lots of things that you can click on and do and that's very very typical of a game like this they have a lot of features it keeps it interesting it keeps you engaged in doing different things and setting like certain tasks forging certain equipment now as you can see everything is not in english yet two weeks is the time in which they the you know they're suggesting that it's all going to be translated into english so it is going to be ready for us to be able to play without that restriction of not understanding what everything means so this is just an example of what the user interface will look like what the gameplay will look like so we've got this very very kind of um old school style like runescape style gameplay Doing some damage to the enemies. The bear is our companion, by the way. We're getting attacked at the same time. You would go through and you would, do, you know, you'd fight people. You'd get drops, complete certain tasks, use portals to teleport to different places. You see on the left side. I mean, I don't understand what that means, but I can tell that's like tasks complete so much. You know, battle ten of a certain type of enemy. You see, we're going to a different location through his portal. Coming out over here. So it's going to be very simple click and play to move interacting with different people are we taking this guy down or can you actually battle this this guy's doing absolutely nothing you've just hit a stationary guy i know he's, he's back in he's into action he's realized he's getting attacked he's fighting back he's got some range on him oh no he's, he's gonna die the bear finishes him off oh and you can pick up loot I mean, that would be cool if you can fight other people and steal their NFTs. It looks like it. Don't, don't forget that one. That one's going to be good. Yes, that'd be really interesting. <laughs> the guy just dead on the floor. <laughs> Yeah, so that's what you can expect the gameplay to look like. And obviously, there's going to be so much more, which we'll take a look at the white paper. It's just this game is so complex. There's so much to it. But once you get your head around it, I reckon it'll be really good to enjoy. Plenty for you to do to keep you occupied. And let's finish off by checking out their socials and white paper. So make sure to follow these links because if you want to keep up to date with anything, get involved in any offers, any giveaways, then these are a good way to do it. So they do have a Reddit. They have Discord community, which you can follow. All the links to these will be in the description below. We have Ancient Kingdom Medium page, which brings you some articles on some of the details, some of the partnerships they've already made. There's an Ancient Kingdom YouTube channel, which currently doesn't have any videos on it, but I imagine that's where they're going to post things like trailers and game footage for you to check out. They've just recently listed on CoinMarketCap even before they've released. So when public launch comes and you can pick up these tokens on PancakeSwap or PooCoin, go to the contract address, copy it and post it in. And that's where you can pick some up on Binance Smart Chain. White paper is one of the most extensive. No, it's the most extensive white paper I've ever seen. 72 pages. If you're going to write 72 pages on a project, you've already invested enough time and effort to making this game a success because it better be after you've completed a 72 page document and it details all the NFTs, the features, the leveling system that you can expect it, the tokens that you can purchase and what you'll be using them for in game exactly what some of the map layout will be featured and look like so much details that it just goes to show how far along they are in producing this game and their knowledge of creating a game that currently in mobile games with these type of mmorpgs they do have very very complex leveling systems very very complex you know ability artifacts things that you can add to make your your um your character stronger things that you can use to upgrade those weapons and armor things that you can upgrade your character so many different complex ways that make it really interesting and make it enjoyable to play in the sense that 
you've got different goals that you're working towards to make yourself stronger and you can see that slowly building and then you can take down stronger enemies and get better rewards for that so we have quite a high level system you know going up to 100 i think 90 is the max and yeah this they clearly thought about exactly what they they want this this game to look like and how it's going to function there's going to be you know equipment functions that you can use to forge different items and weapons forging is a great way to add value to those little things that you pick up and it, it means that you can have enemies that drop lots of content but they may not be worth a lot until you use them to forge better items and then use those items to forge even better items now a blaringly obvious problem in playing this game is that it is in i'm guessing japanese could be chinese um i mean this game is clearly built for the asian market and therefore would be very very confusing to play on our end because you wouldn't understand what you're upgrading what the weapons are called what you're getting in terms of what these different values mean so this does need to be adapted and clearly they're doing that you know this what this white paper is is kind of leading the two they they're, they're explaining that this will be to increase physical attack magic attack road attack they just may need to make the adaptations to make it more accessible for uh english speaking reading players now I think a great aspect of this game is it's going to be a social one. You can add other characters in game as friends, team up with other characters in game to take down enemies, improve mon monster spawning, spawning efficiency, and also you can form your own gangs. To so join a gang, um, you can have consignment, players equipment, or precious materials can be obtained through consignment procedure. The leaderboard is displayed according to the player's combat strength, so you can see all that in terms of where you rank compared to other people as well, which I think is really good for those people who are very competitive minded who want to be, you know, up there with some of the best. Therefore, when you're starting a gang, you're inviting the people that you would probably be able to spend a lot of time playing with. The white paper goes into the intricate details of every NPC in the game, League Heavy Teleporters, Guardian Goddess, and exactly what the functions are, equipment synthesis, so it gives you a good sense of exactly what these things are going to do in the game. The roadmap gives a little insight into what they were doing in the early weeks, so the roadmap for the early weeks included, you know, being able to access by login, token recharge, gain currency, going into the second week, adaptation of in-game consignment. Third week was where English localization and Chinese localization happened. Week four, installation package on Android Apple. Fifth week, complete test of the game, bug repair. So all that has been done. What's really good about this project is it does have long-term vision for growth. So they want borderless universe zones with multiple blockchains in future. They want player created content to be able to, you know, actually create your own content which is compatible with different platforms and complete discovery mission to universe the orbit so they really want to take it to the next level of innovation this is uh, a big 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 project i think in terms of taking something that is very much up to date with modern mobile gaming to the blockchain space and it could be very popular if people like these games i mean i know a lot of people like these games and people invest a lot of money into them you know away from the blockchain people put a lot of money into competing with these games and leveling up the characters and becoming the best and it could be very attractive to those players to drawing them in and maybe see more adoption into the blockchain as well so uh ancient kingdom go check it out all the links to this are in the description remember that ido is on january the 11th so check out some of those details on that if you want to get involved and get this token early okay that's all for this one hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you have please leave a like the video hit subscribe if you want to keep up to date with future content that's all from me see you guys soon Thank you.